Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn chemical reaction. This chapter is under ICSE standard 8 syllabus. Let us have a basic idea about when chemical reaction happens, how we get to know that this reaction has happened or this reaction is completed. So there are certain indications for that. First, color change. You can see some change in color when the product will form. Either it is from black to red or blue to green or something like that. So you will get to know that earlier it was this color and now it has changed. That means the reaction has been completed. Second, evolution of gas. When any effervescence you can see in the test tube, then we are believing that this reaction has been completed. That effervescence will stop. Once it starts and it will stop, that means that reaction has been completed. The indication is evolution of gas. Then in the form of heat, we are getting two indications. Either the heat is absorbed or the heat is evolved. If we will feel some heat, our beaker or taste tube will get warm. Then we will feel that heat has been evolved. And if we are boiling it or if we are giving heat to the reaction then it will absorb the heat. So these are two different indications for the chemical reaction. Precipitation. When you are mixing two different solutions and you will get one solid compound at the end. It is known as precipitate. When in the chemical reaction you are getting any solid compound it is known as precipitate and that particular equation is known as, that reaction is known as pre precipitation reaction. Now let us see one by one, one one example for each. Let us see some of the example for each and every indication. First, color change. Mercuric oxide, when you are heating it, you will get mercury and oxygen. Earlier it is red in color. And after the product, you will get silver product at the end. So this is a color change. When red is completely becoming silver, we will get to know that our reaction has been completed. Evolution of gas. So here the hydrogen, when it is evolved, we will get to know that our reaction has been completed. When iron, any matter will react with a acid then it will gives us a product a salt and then a hydrogen gas so when any effervescence will start and stop we'll get to know that this reaction is happening and this reaction has been stopped so this reaction will show the indication of evolution of gas in the form of heat when it is absorbed heat is absorbed this reaction is known as endothermic reaction and when heat is evolved that reaction is known as exothermic reaction exhaust means exo so it is liberating the heat so there are two different example for that nitrogen is reacting with oxygen and this is reversible reaction so in this the heat is getting absorbed when heat is evolved, so this is exothermic reaction when calcium oxide react with water, it gives us calcium hydroxide and we can feel the beaker or test tube will get warm when this reaction will happen. Precipitation means we will get any solid compound at the end when silver nitrate AgNO3 will react with hydrochloric acid will gives us HNO3, nitric acid in the liquid form and AgCl, silver chloride in the precipitation form. This sign we are showing for precipitate. That means it is in the solid form. The down arrow will tell us this will be as precipitate. So this reaction is an example of precipitation reaction. So there are Four indications in, term of, in terms of color change, evolution of gas, heat either getting absorbed or evolved and 
precipitation formation.